Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and this is going to be part four of our pinging system series. Now, in this video, what I want to do is make it so when we, well, basically, really, we need to kind of set it up so where we can actually ping. But the problem is the camera is right behind the character, which is going to make that a little bit annoying. So I want to offset that, and I want to give ourselves just a very rudimentary crosshair, it's literally just going to be a square in the center of the screen that we can use to kind of, you know, aim with. So that way, if I want to point at this box, it's not kind of impossible to aim through my character. So to do that, let's go to our character blueprint. Right here. And let's grab our, I guess we could do our follow camera and just simply offset it. Actually, would, let's see, because if we offset our camera boon, that'll change its pivot location. So I want to move the camera. So I want to go over by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 see what that looks like and that's not too bad I'm gonna lower the target arm of distance a little bit I'm gonna go to 300 and that might give it a bigger effect all right let's move it up a little bit by 40 and I'd say I'm pretty happy with that that should give me a very nice easy way to aim. Okay, now let's create our little widget that we need for it, and then we're going to categorize this and kind of clean it up a bit. So I'm going to create a widget blueprint of user widget w underscore crosshair. And literally all this is going to be is, oh, I guess they don't have a canvas panel in there by default anymore. Let's go ahead and add a canvas panel. And we'll just do, we'll be lazy, we'll grab an image. And that image is going to anchor to the center. So we're going to give it zeroed out position, and for size, we're going to do just 5 by 5. Okay, so here's our size, and we want to align it, so 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 to put it in the dead center. So now we just need to create the widget and set it. So create widget, or better yet, make sure first off, so it is locally controlled, so that way when we go to test in multiplayer, we're not creating widgets for other clients. Perform our branch. And if we are locally controlled, we create our widget. So we're going to create w underscore crosshair and simply add it to the viewport. Okay, let's hit play. And here we have our crosshair. So we can make that a little bit of a different color. That'll make it a, maybe a little bit easier to see. So I, let's try something like, we'll just do a dark blue. Okay, yeah, that's worse. Back to white, and we'll just leave it. So, I'd say that's good enough. It's just a simple white crosshair, because literally all it is is just a point for aiming. And I'm going to move the follow camera over just a tiny bit more. Good enough for me. And slightly less. Okay, now let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. So, I'm going to set up a new folder called tutorial and in there I'm going to drag literally everything and then categorize it so inside of here let's do let's just do ping material that'll be it's triangle material now oh, so I don't, wasn't quite sure what I was using that for I don't think I'm using it at all so that'll be those two guys. I don't need this new blueprint anymore. That was for the example in the first video. And here we have our actual blueprint and our widget. So our widget, eh, it's good enough. We'll leave it there. Okay, so now we kind of have it set up to where we have a point of reference to where we can aim with. So in the next video, we're going to set it up so when we little mouse click, we're going to basically draw a simple sphere or something like that wherever we hit. So that'll kind of make it just so we can visualize and see where we're actually at and where we're aiming. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series and a Conquest series available. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.